uh, I sat in a study, a fellow I know, uh, and he got some young Americans for me, uh, from all over the place mm -hmm. in Washington, okay? And I looked at them, I listened to them, I, 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 I saw the passion in their eyes, the intelligence and the decency, and I thought, what's gone wrong in our system? So I'm not going to single out America because we've got the same problem. Mm -hmm. What's gone wrong in our system that these people, even if they wanted to have a go, would feel that there was no pathway? They're intelligent, they're driven, they understand freedom, they're committed to it, they're ideal citizens, the sort of thing that the founding fathers recognised was going to be needed in leadership and which we're all saying we want. Do we want it enough to make pathways? What's, why can't they get through in this country? Because they can't in Australia. That's what they tell me. What's stopping those young people from pursuing careers in leadership? Meaning in politics? Mm. I don't think they're stopping. I will say there's more younger guys that are stepping up today that are being inspired to go into politics. There's a lot of good, strong capitalist young guys. The The bench is a very, very deep bench, but they're in their mid to late 20s, early 30s. So it's, it's about another decade. Mm -hmm. uh, there's going to be a very, very massive deep bench of new superstars coming up with backbones. Well, that's but it's going to take about a decade or so for them to come. And by the way, here's... Here's here's uh, the the part of that with the with the backbone situation, on uh, these guys coming up. Most people like I had a conversation with a guy flew out and I sat down with him and I said, listen, I think you got to run for office. I, I think you got to run for governor. And I had a meeting with him and his wife, and you know, and I told them why I think he should run for office. And his wife says, tell me how bad it's going to be. And I said, very bad. They're going to come after you. They're going to come after your kids. They're going to come after your family. They're going to come after everything you've ever done. And some stuff's going to come out. Well, then that's why I said no. But you have to you have to understand that none of us walk on water. Like if people come after you, and the fear is that they're going to find something in your uh, uh, in your what do you call it in your skeleton. skeletons. They're going to find some the skeletons. Closet. Okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Find the skeletons in my closet. Yeah, my matter of fact, I'll give you a couple other bones. Here's <laughs> you forgot about these two. Bring these two right. up as well. I'll do some research for you, and you can. So now what? Hey, so here's what you guys learned officially. You learn I don't walk on water. You'll learn I have a past. You'll learn I have issues. You'll learn I'm not perfect. You'll learn all that stuff. Now, how about I spend a half a million dollars to investigate your past with your marriage, your past with your ex, your past with your taxes, your past with this. Do you want me to do that? How about I spend those resources on you? Do you want me to put that on you as well? No, 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 no. Well, how about if I hire some investigators to follow you for the next two months? I have the money to do it. How about if I do it? Then they say, well, no, that's not fair. That's this, that's that. No. Then it just means you don't walk on water, I don't walk on water. Do you like my policies? Great, vote for me. You don't leave me the hell alone, I'll go back to my life. But we can't be like, well, what if they find out what I did when I did this? Yeah, what if we all find out about what everybody did? You know, it would be a very, if, if we all walked around with all three biggest sins shown above our forehead, hmm. we would be very disappointed with people. Jonathan Rabbi Sachs was a member of the House of Lords in England. He tragically died quite recently, but I, I did a podcast with him and he said that no, made the point that no family, no community, no country can work if you wash forgiveness out. And that's one of the great marks of the viciousness and nastiness of our society now. We won't let bygones be bygones. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't work in your personal life. You know, you're going to make a mess somewhere in your marriage, you're going to do something wrong, you've got to say, I'm sorry. You're going to do it with your kids, you've got to yeah. say, I'm sorry. The most powerful moment with one of my kids was you know, she was a very strong personality as a little girl. I said, sorry, one day. He said, Daddy, did you say sorry? I said, yeah, I got that wrong. Hmm. Instant restoration, you know. Um, and he made the point that our culture now doesn't, particularly the left, this nasty, censorious attitude that if you've done one thing wrong, that's it, you're cancelled. You're, cancelled. you're on the way to the guillotine. You're done. And I said, well, what happens, what can you hope for if there's no forgiveness? He said, maybe that people forget. He said, well, that doesn't work either because now social media means they can bring up anything from the past. So maybe he had a point. We need to learn to recognise that yeah. none of us are perfect and a little bit of forgiveness goes mm -hmm. a long way. Now, that doesn't mean you go live a reckless life. That doesn't mean you go live a, hey, since I'm going to be forgiven, I'm just going to go be super reckless and do whatever I want to do and do whoever I want to do and you know, be that kind of a life. That's also not the point. My point isn't that. My point is try to live a strong life, back it up with honour, strong values, pr principles, Loyalty, dependability, reliability, all of that stuff. But at the same time, you're not going to be expecting somebody to run that's going to be walking on water. I think mm -hmm. we've got plenty of people that should be running that don't want to run. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.